Alright, hello there guys, and welcome back to Disappoint Your Parents Simulator. So last time we navigated a fiery fuckfest, we got spit-roasted by some anthropomorphic blue bubbles, and Yakimo and I both got some unexpected pussy. So a couple things I want to go over, seeing as how people won't stop whining and bitching about how I'm so overleveled, even though it doesn't make a fucking difference, honestly. I have collected a little bit of haze, and I'm going to show you just how much a difference in level makes at this point, so you all can shut the fuck up, alright? So if I level, look, I get, what, two whole damage, and I get five whole health, and my stamina stays the exact fucking same. So at this point, I'm getting such a diminished return that it's probably more advantageous if I were to unlock more skills from blood codes at this point than it would be to level. It honestly does not make fuck all of a difference. So shut the fuck up. You look like an idiot. Okay, that's number one. Number two. I decided to spend my haze on levels rather than abilities from different blood codes because nothing suited my playstyle. So, if you want as much health as I do, it's as simple as using a fucking greatsword, putting the atlas code on, and using a veil that supports it. So don't hate me for playing the game smart, hate yourself for playing it dumb, alright? We just specced into different shit, that's pretty much it. Now, what I've done is I've changed the setup a little bit. I inherited this ability that gives me more balance, so I should get staggered less, I think? And I put a fire buff on. It's probably not going to help that much because it only applies when I'm focused. So, basically, the reason I think people bitching about me being overleveled is stupid, and here's why. It's because levels are not tied to your abilities that you can use. And Lethal was sitting here telling me, oh, levels determine how many buffs you can use. That's wrong. No, it doesn't. It doesn't correlate at all whatsoever. It really doesn't. Because if I wanted to go unlock a new ability, right? Let me just demonstrate this for you real quick. If I went to go unlock a new ability, I would have to go to Acquire slash Inherit Gifts, right? And you find the codes as you progress through the game, right? So there's no way you can possibly be overleveled and you find the codes and they give you the abilities that you can get should you collect the vestiges corresponding to whatever ability you want to unlock, right? So, these are in no way tied to what level you are. You could be level 1, and you can use any ability on any code you want. So that's fucking retarded. Okay, so that's the first thing. The second thing is that your code and your veil determine your overall stats, your movement speed, your weapon class, whatever build you want to play. So, for example, if I were to swap my blood code to something else, look at that. I lose health there by a big amount, 539. Let's see. 531. That's a pretty big difference. See right here, if I were to use this one, I'd gain 46 health. I don't think people are saying, like, health determines so much, because it's a mixture of things, right? Like, if I were to go with this blood code, I'd lose 629 health. So what I've decided to do is I'm going to quit leveling. And the reason I think that logic is stupid, because if I were to spend my haze on more abilities instead of levels... And Lethal's argument is that I'm overleveled, I could go out and potentially unlock a fuck ton of abilities that would make me more OP than getting a 5 or 10 stat difference in health or stamina or whatever the fuck you want to call it. So that's retarded logic in my opinion. Also, I don't think it's very fair to play the game level 1 and then say I got one shot by this boss compared to somebody who's playing the game casually. Because I've learned my lesson. I played Neo, the first time I ever played Neo blind, I played it, and I did it with under level gear, and I did it by using no skills, and I hated the fucking game. Absolutely, I hated it. I went back and I gave it another shot and I tried to respect its mechanics and actually use the skills and learn how to play it, and the fun of that game's combat is to be found throughout the skills of all the different weapons. So if you limit yourselves on a challenge run that's blind, you're likely not going to learn very much about the game and you're probably not going to enjoy it too much. Now, I'm not hampering on your ability to play shit the way you want. By all means, whatever is attractive to you, play it however you want. That's what these games are for, right? So, I mean, I, I don't know. But basically, anyway, that's that. So, aside from the Queen Slayer Blade, which I stupidly leveled to level 7, I got um, Yakimo's Greatsword, and I've been using it, and I like it quite a bit. There's only one thing I hate about it. Instead of doing a horizontal swing, it does a vertical swing. And that gets me fucked with hit detection a little bit. But it's not terrible. 
Also, you'll notice that I've temporarily fixed the lighting, and... Tell your parents, tell your friend, tell your neighbors. I'm a fucking genius, goddammit. I'm a fucking genius. I hung a towel in front of my light, and it solved my lighting problem. So, temporary fix? Until I can go out and afford to get myself some proper lighting, that's what we're rolling with. So, uh, yeah, ghetto MacGyver shit for the win. So, basically, my bedroom is an attic converted into a bedroom by my own hand. So, yeah. Um, also, secondly, I'd like to thank DMO for his follow. Um, I ran into this guy last night. I was watching him play a little bit of this. That man is fucking hilarious. He's super funny. Highly recommend. If he pops in here, I'll give him a shout. He's fucking hilarious. I really enjoyed my time there. Although I will say it's not for the faint of heart. He does say some stuff that could catch people's ear wrong. So uh, if you're sensitive, I would not recommend it. I can't wholeheartedly recommend it. Uh, if you're an SJW or you get triggered easily, it's probably not the best place for you to be. So basically where I think we have to go now is uh, in this ice place, there was a purple door that I could not go past. So I'm assuming that's where I must go. So that's where we're off to. And hopefully we brought our parka and our winter leather pants, because uh, it's going to be a rough ride, I think. Not for the ice place, I mean whatever godforsaken abomination fucks me in the next area. So this next area I haven't seen anything of, whatever this next area is coming up. I did see a little bit of the ice place before I ever got there, but I didn't know the navigation. I just knew there was kind of a snow place. So uh, this next place I have no idea what the fuck we're doing at all. Right. Oh yeah, so, um, the reason I have Yakimo with me, let me explain that. Um, I was going through the depths a little bit, and I was just fucking around testing some stuff. And, uh, it was just less of a hassle to have Yakimo with me. So, as per usual, we're gonna go without the partner, because, uh, we don't need it. Because, I, I, I do honestly feel like the partner does make this game a bit too easy. But, uh... I did come across another streamer who was using partners, and uh, he was getting fucking bodied by Queen's Knight ridiculously hard. So uh, even with the partners, some people are struggling, and that's kind of the feeling I want them to have. You don't want to be able to get past everything immediately, do you? You want, like, you know, a little bit of gratification and satisfaction and knowing that you've learned and adapted a little bit? That's kind of what I want people to take away from this game. And, like, I feel like that's the experience it's kind of out to deliver. But, like, if you play it with a partner just based on preference alone, I can't really fault you for it. Play the game how you want. But if you do want a challenge, I definitely recommend no partner, because partner, you can almost, like, beat every boss on the first try with very minimal effort. It's pretty ridiculous how much the aggro the NPCs take as often as they take it. Yeah, so this place I was not able to enter before. That looks like death, so I'm not gonna drop down there, but the purple door isn't here now. Oh... Okay, so this isn't a door anymore, it's just a open space. Weird. Okay. Have I already been here? Am I dumb? I don't feel like I've been here before. I don't remember any of this gold crystal shit. Although I'm worried that there's another gilded hunter gonna rear his ugly fucking head soon. His ugly gilded head. And then he's gonna fly at me and go, and like hit me with blood halberds and shit. How long are these fucking area transitions? Holy Christ. Desert area? Desert area, ooh. Okay, no, I'm interested. Let me guess, it's another ruined city? Some dumb shit like that? Not an actual desert? Alright, we got a cutscene, and we're gonna meet up with our boy Jack. Hopefully he's doing well. I know his waifu got kidnapped or whatever. Look, there used to be just ruins here, but now they've been turned into a desert. Nice. The successor who created this crypt used their very last ounce of strength as they struggled to resist. Are we gonna get like a sick ass like mummy boss or some shit? That'd be awesome. Mummy waifu with huge tits? Probably. Although they're gonna be like hundreds of thousands of years old, so it's not really gonna be worth it, huh? It's gonna be like a not really. What? Dude, I don't care about your waifu, bro. I'm looking for my waifu. I can't take Yakimo's waifu, he already has one. That'd be a dick move, and we're bros. I don't want to fuck him over like Eva that. Is waiting for me. Just over there. Climb the fucking rocks, dickhead! I'm talking too much. Yeah, no shit. Start climbing. Anyway, Dumbass. I'm going on ahead. It's not like he has to do the area navigation and get the missiles and fight through, like, fucktarded flame dudes that have, like, really OP damage. Nope. He could just climb. He's an NPC. He can break all the rules. He can do whatever the fuck he wants. I'm fucked. 
I'll meet you on the other side, dude. See you in like an hour. Crown of Sand. Alright. What a fitting name for a deserty area. What kind of horrific abominations await? Dead people? That's a good sign. Maybe not for me. Alright, there's a rod of missile over there, but of course I can't unlock it. It's gotta be Resident Evil Syndrome all over the place. Ooh, 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 okay. Hello. I saw you out of the corner of my camera, I just didn't know what you were. Ooh, ooh, Leak, oh shit. I don't even know what the fuck Leak does, bro. God damn, hitting me with shit I don't even know, that's fair. Alright. Okay, those guys suck, they're a little bit more aggressive, I think. Nice AI, bro. I don't know what the fuck he's so pissed off at that wall for, but... That wall must have given him a really hard time in a previous life or some shit. More dudes? No, no more dudes. I do hear something stomping around, though. I don't know what it is. Oh. Hello. Come on, dickhead. Again, nice AI. I was gonna say, he's not gonna get staggered, is he? He doesn't give two shits about my super weapon. So yeah, basically people saying I have way too much health, so what I did is I took my health buff off, and it wasn't making that big of a difference, honestly. It was making like, what, a 60 difference, I think? Some shit like that? Hello? Oh, hi. How you doing? What is that? What are you doing? Okay, I don't know what that is, but it looks like it sucks. So I'm not getting hit by that, preferably. Harmonia Vestige. The fuck would I want a herpes vestige for? Fuck that. I have it bad enough. I have to find checkpoints. I got all these freaking weird edgy dudes with size. Not the kicky dudes again. God damn it, I hate these things. Let me guess, they're way more beefy too, huh? Oh yeah, way more beefy. Oh yeah, way, way, way more beefy. They do a lot more damage. Oh cool, I got focus somehow, so now my blade is on fire. That's pretty sick. Nope. Nope. Shit. Oh god, fuck off. Fucking stupid ass game. Whatever. That really sucks balls. What a waste of two heals. More evil things. Anything up here? No. There's gotta be something evil down here somewhere. Yeah, I knew it. What? I rolled that, you fucking liar. Right when he jumped back, I'm like, he's probably winding up an attack, and I rolled, and the game said, no, you didn't. You got hit in the face is what you did. Oh, that looks super safe. How much do you want to bet it's not super safe? I can almost guarantee it's not super safe. Yeah, there's like 50 bug dudes down there, huh? Or are they desert slimes? They look like desert slimes, if I had to guess. Based on the model. Don't drop off into the giant sand pit, you fucking retard. Okay, you are nowhere close to dead, so I gotta hit you, like, what, two more times? Yeah. Harmonia Chrome? Okay, I don't know what those do. Death? No, not death, but I probably don't want to go down there yet. Not until I exhaust all my options up here. Hello, big boy. God, that backstab is so safe if you can get it. Okay. Okay. No evil thing? Nothing gonna break through the wall? No. I gotta quit thinking of this game like it's Resident Evil or some shit. Desert slime? Ooh! Feisty little fucker, aren't we? Okay, they seem to be really stupid though, luckily for me. Although I'm really stupid too, so... There's a delicate fine line balance right there, isn't there? Don't. At least they die in one hit, that's pretty nice. What is this, like... Is something happening to me? What is this effect on me, what the fuck? Oh, fuck off, I blocked. Liar. What?! God damn it, I'm so tired of this game not registering my block. There we go, it registered that time. Is it sapping my fucking i -core? The hell? Is that what Leak does? Get off. Fuck off, you stupid little sand bastard. 
Although it's not their fault, they were born this way, or uh, created through weird mutagenic scientific experimentation in a lab or some crap. It's not their fault. Shouldn't be taking out my aggression on these poor innocent slimes, but here we are. Leak vaccine, yeah. Finally a consumable I might actually have to use. Is that everybody dead? Ooh, fuck me, that was worth it. No giant, big, scary, angry thing gonna try and kill me for picking that up? No. Sick. Gonna use that straight off the fucking gate. Why not? Nice, now we have another heal. Sexy. Thank you, exploration. And I was sitting here thinking about going off this part. Let's do it anyway. Are we gonna regret it? Yes. Nothing behind? Okay. Charge booster, I have no idea what that does. Should probably read it. Too lazy the Ooh! Woo! Nice. Absolute fucking luck I found that. Absolute luck. Alright, so because we're not going to be gaining any more levels because people say I'm overleveled the fuck, and uh, I don't want people to think I'm cheesing the fucking game by fighting all the bosses solo, we're just going to uh, disregard our haze at this point of the game, I think. It's probably not that crucial to be hanging on to. What are you doing? Oh, hello. I thought you were doing something a little bit weird. Oh, do you just continually do that? Oh, you do. Okay. Okay, the sand's gonna slow me down. I understand. Woof. God, that was a tight squeeze, wasn't it? Think I haven't played Frogger, motherfucker? Think I haven't played Crash Bandicoot? I know how this shit works. Stupid dickhead. And then let me guess, I'm not gonna be able to continue upwards, so I'm gonna have to find a way to get around and kill his ass. That's a cool idea, though. Uh-oh. I don't know what that is, but I don't like it, so you can stop that. Thanks, pal. No stairway? Okay. What about over here? Another big angry dude? Yep, more big angry dudes. Is that one of those fucking shotgun guys? I fucking hate these things. Fucker. God damn it, they do so much damage. That's alright, though. Okay. Okay. How often do you throw those out? One more time. Okay, pretty frequently. Run. Around the sand. Yep. Okay, we're fine. Okay. Yeah, I'm assuming the sand is gonna slow me down when I try and run up to him, which is why I'm trying to be careful. Alright, roll. Good. Get in. <laughs> oh, you thought you were gonna get the fucking jump on me, did you, motherfucker? Nah. Way too good at this game. Until I die. And then I say it's bullshit. Uh, nice. Oh! Oh, shit. Not good. Not good. First rule of Fight Club. Never talk about fucking Fight Club. Nice special, bro. Love how it missed entirely. Good shit. Alright. We're fine. Crisis averted. We're okay. No problem. Alright. Let's go up and not make any more uh, mistakes that might cause an early demise, shall we? Okay. Oh, did the bug dude, like, that was throwing the boulders come after me because I got close to him? That might be it. Nothing gonna push me off the ledge? That's definitely a death fall. What is gonna push me off? There's gonna be something nasty. Ah. Come on then, boys! Fuck off. Fucking kicky dudes are bullshit. They get insane hyper armor and they do a lot of fucking damage. Those things are kind of bonkers. Alright, so what do we have? We have some projectile dudes. 
Nothing gonna jump off the card? Nothing over there? Okay. There's gotta be something. Check around here first. Nothing. I don't know if I believe you, game. Okay, I believe you. Never mind. False alarm. Nothing. Slime dude. That's nice tracking, bro. Kill you. Mmm. Don't know how I feel about that one, Chief. I might take a uh, rain check on that big fucking dude with the red spikes coming out of his fucking back. Honestly. I'm probably gonna have to fight him, though, honestly, let's face it. Stamp icon number four, I have no idea what the fuck those do. Quit fucking leaking me, bitch. Okay, there's gotta be another checkpoint around here somewhere. There just has to be. They wouldn't put more giant bug dudes with great swords this time, would they? Nah. I'm guessing my checkpoint is gonna be past this big nasty bug fucker, isn't it? No, that looks like a box, if I had to guess. Judging from the uh, shape and the color, that looked like a box. Fuck off, you little son of a bitch. Fucking waited, too. He picked the perfect moment where he knew I'd be vulnerable to shoot me. Asshole. Let me guess, there's another bug dude around the corner when I go up and try and fight this one? No? Okay. Ooh. Uh-oh. Ooh. Okay, you stagger, though. Just like every other b bug dude, you stagger. Good news. Okay. Uh. See, this place doesn't look too horrible quite yet, but I'm guessing there's gonna be some bullshit. Okay. Ooh, finally I start finding those. I think I've needed a few of those for quite a while. Come on, you little fucker. There we go. Okay. Now what? Now what? More bug dudes and a ladder. Interesting. Okay. Going down, it would appear. Alright. Shiny. I hate these fucking blobs. They're just kind of annoying. They're not hard. Nice. Good job. Good job. Fucking hit detection of this game, man. Yep. Come on over here, idiot. No, I'm not fighting you out there, dickhead. You come here. Okay. Crisis averted. Nothing. Nothing climbing over the edge. Nothing gonna knock me off. No bullshit back here. No, just a shiny? Ooh, okay. Never mind, I thought there was gonna be something like incredibly horrifying hiding behind the boxes. Big vaccine. Interesting. Where's that big bug dude that I saw over here? I didn't forget about him. I know he's here somewhere, I just don't know where. There's one over there, but I don't know if that's the same one or not. See, I bet the game's gonna debate me into running over here toward the ladder, looking for the next checkpoint, and then something's gonna fucking knock me off. So, rather than be a dipshit, we're gonna try and take on the big bug dude before we go down the ladder. And the sand slows my movement, I'm pretty sure. Oh, okay, you shoot the electric blue stuff too. I'm assuming this dude hurts like a fucking bitch, honestly. I was gonna say you're not done, are you? Nice backstab. Stagger. Nope. Whatever you're doing, nope. Spam square. It's just like Dark Souls, except you spam square instead of, a uh, R1. <laughs> nice job, retard. Wanna try again, Timmy? Huh? Nah. Take a vacation, Timmy. You tried. That's all that matters. You tried. More Queen Titanium, sick. I'm gonna be able to start a blacksmith shop of my own soon, if I keep finding titanium at this rate. 
Ah, uh, you thought you'd get me, huh? Ah, mother... Mm. Disagree. Thank you. You are more deadly than you look, aren't you? Excuse me? I don't believe you. I don't believe you. What the fuck is that thing? Also, why is it a different color? Also, is this a shortcut? An elevator? An elevator? Is this active, or do I have to activate it? It's active. Interesting. Okay. Does this go down to that gate that I saw that I couldn't get past? Ah, yeah, it does. Board game? Interesting. Okay, now I'm happy. Now we have a shortcut. Now if I meet with an untimely demise, I'm not gonna be upset. I might be mildly upset, but it'll be a lot less painful, I think. Nice. Where's my missile? I know there's a missile around here somewhere, I just don't know where it is. Or is it up here? Yeah, it's up here. Okay. Alright, so before we go any further, seeing as how I have 5 billion haze, we're gonna go back to uh, see the blacksmith chick. And we're gonna level up our pimp sword. A little bit. And then I should probably think about collecting enough titanium to upgrade my defense. I'm starting to find the shit in abundance now, so I'm gonna assume I'm safe to upgrade whatever the hell I want. <sighs> okay. The sand area hasn't been too bad so far. I think the fireplace has been worse, honestly. Not that the fireplace was hard, but those blue dudes were fucking insanely tough. Although I still haven't fought the dude with the red crystals in his back, so I'm assuming he's going to be an absolute piece of shit. That's probably going to be the blue fire dudes of this area, if I had to assume anything. Somebody's ringtone going off? Like, what the fuck, bro? Are these guys, like... Advertising the game with their ringtone. Okay. Upgrade our pimp sword. Where is it? Where is it? There it is. That'd be the one. Yep. How many do I need? Three? Fuck off. Okay. But we can upgrade our veil again, which is nice. So let's do that. Yeah, it gives me physical defense out the wazoo when I upgrade it, so yeah. Alright, so I wanted to upgrade my weapon twice, but apparently we didn't have enough. Which is okay. I'm fine with that. I'm supposing we'll find another missile here pretty soon, so... 60% of the way through this map already. Really. Weird. Crazy. Seems like these later game maps are much smaller. The fireplace wasn't super small, but it was pretty, uh, straightforward. The ice place was a pretty big map, I think, if you count the region before the uh, ending region, where the uh, breath successor is. And uh, the uh, white palace map. Albeit, I don't think it was big, I think it went around in a lot of loops. But the uh, multi-leveled structure made it seem very, very big. Although I'm assuming this isn't the final map of the game, I'm assuming there's more after this. There's probably one final map with like a whole bunch of super bullshit enemies. Some end game tier shit. Okay. See, I came down the ladder, didn't I? Or did I? I don't remember going up a ladder at all. Oh, I'm dumb. Okay. Ah, uh, yeah. Ow. Sorry about your ankles, love. My bad. Wait, what? Oh, there's a dude up there. I didn't notice that before. I'm usually pretty vigilant, so I'm surprised I didn't notice. Alright, so I have to go to the first missile, not the second missile. That's the mistake I made. Right. We'll get the shit done. I want to kill at least the boss of this area today, but I don't feel like I'm going to get as lost in this area like I did with the fire area. And the only reason I got lost in the fire area is because I didn't know, like, those two blue bug dudes were different. Oh, this is the, uh, yeah, this is the way back, isn't it? Through the, uh, cavern that I don't want to go through. Alright, so we go in here. Yeah, here we go. 
I want to fight that crystal dude so I can get what's in that chest, but I'm afraid he's gonna, like, kick my shit in. Also, I don't know how I feel about them putting an elevator here. They could have put, like, a ladder here or something. 